human trafficking has been around forever. We finally are just um, putting a name to what's happening in this exploitation. Today, the Scarlet Rope Project is looking to educate the community on what human trafficking is and how to recognize it. It's in our communities, um, and so we, we all need to be aware. According to the U.S. State Department, signs that someone is being sexually exploited or trafficked include living with their employer, living in poor living conditions, giving scripted answers, and signs of physical abuse. The common denominator in any human trafficking case is, expo is, um, is a vulnerability. And so we all have vulnerabilities at certain times in our life. And so that's what a trafficker preys upon, and then they flip it. Jewel Ann Stone says we have to talk about human trafficking so that everyone is aware of it. We're going to be posting things on our social media account. We're going to be posting videos. Um, you can share those things um, because that is just a great way to start conversations conversation among people. And when you have a conversation, you start bringing awareness to this issue. For eight years, the Scarlet Rope Project has been helping women in our community escape sex trafficking and equipping them with the opportunities and tools to help them succeed. Soon they'll have a new facility to help them expand their mission. Where we are now, we can house five women. Um, in this house, we'll be able to house nine women. And we also have a lot of office space for our growing staff. We have a technology room where they um, will have computers where they can do college education. They can go back get their high school diploma, job applications. The home will be finished by early February. Scarlet Rope encourages everyone to follow them on social media and ask the public for their prayers and donations as they open their new home. Alexander Bitterling, 39 News, Jackson.